So here's the kind of thing I never thought I'd find myself doing. An unboxing video of a sort. Let's have a look at the Film Vault version of 2001 A Space Odyssey, which is much easier to, to show the contents of on a video than it is just discussing it in text. So we'll peel off the shrink wrap when I tell you that this is a 6,000 limited edition, which actually 6,000 these days sounds quite a lot. And we'll peel off the acetate o-ring, so which gives you the nice box art, or the new box art, and you can say whether it's nice or not, that's your entire choice, um, but it gives it you without the text. Um, it's nicely clipped together with the magnetic cover um, and the clamshell. And first of all, we have a look in this little envelope of as you'll see in a moment, like replica lobby cards, um, original film posters, and a poster of the new art. So first of all, we have a quick look at the film poster, which, as you can see, is nice and glossy. I can't imagine for a moment that anyone in their right mind will be putting this on their wall. Uh, I suppose you could frame it and keep it in good condition. There you go, it's a double-sided edition with, uh, with alternative artwork. The, uh, the lobby cards are, well, they are what they are. They're reproductions of lobby cards, nice and glossy. Again, a nice little edition, not essential, not the kind of thing that will really um, you know, change your life or make this an essential package to own, but you know, quite nice. And they've got little film quotes on the back of it. And finally in here, we have the, uh, the new poster, which um, unlike the original posters is, is matte and single sided. And again, you know, it's, a, it's a nice addition. Whether you'll want to put it up on your wall is a different thing. Now, here is the uh, weirdly exclusive um, individually numbered crystal display plaque. Not quite sure what you do with these, but they're quite heavy. They're, they've got a good size and they look quite nice. I imagine the best thing to do is leave it in the box. Finally, we come to the disc itself, which is it's quite nice. It's there in a little kind of a CD style case. With a slip cover, it's, you get two discs. Obviously, you get the uh, the UHD and the Blu-ray. But quite a nice little package that in itself. Obviously, the disc has plenty of extras, which we'll go into on our article on the Reprobate website, which you should you should definitely read. Obviously, when you put it back in the box, remember to put the slip case back on. Um, so it's. It's quite a nice little package. It's hefty. It will definitely look nice on your shelf. This whole Film Vault series, which of course has included movies, uh, Jaws is in this new this new series and immediately sold out by all accounts. Um, we've previously discussed some of the other films. Um, we had a copy of 1917, not a film that I'm particularly interested in. But you know, for those of you who like that kind of thing, you know, it's it's an odd choice. I would have thought being quite quite modern and new, but then, you know, as you can see, a bit of a struggle to get those back in. They're quite a tight fit. But you're probably not going to take them out very often, and the whole thing looks really nice. So there you have it, the uh, the film vault number zero zero seven. Not a Bond film, unfortunately. Missed that trick. But 2001, great choice and a great movie to have.